Hello and welcome. My name is Dawn Colby. I'm with DawnsEarlyInkings.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! independent demonstrator in Durham, North Carolina. Thank you for stopping by today. So today is another card video. Um, I'm going to be making this card here. Um, this comes from our mini catalog and just as a reminder, still a little over a week left with a uh, celebration ongoing until the 30th of September. Uh, don't forget, um, with a purchase of a minimum $50 purchase or $100 purchase, you can earn the items in this in this brochure. Um, and again, the, I will let you know that this Be Dazzling paper has run out, so that is no longer available. So if you are looking at that, I'm sorry to say it's no longer available. Um, however, far as I know, everything else is still available till the end of the month. Um, don't forget, there's this wonderful host set um, that you can earn with a $300 order, whether you place that yourself, you have some friends you want to place orders with, for, or have a, a, a party, uh, so to speak, a group gathering and place orders. Um, but that has to be done by the end of the month again when celebration ends and also um, for celebration the joining uh, special um, for a $99 uh, starter kit to join Stampin Up um, it's $99 plus tax no shipping you get to pick $125 worth of product out of either the celebration catalog or the mini I'm sorry out of the mini catalog or the regular uh, annual catalog and also pick one of these 12 uh, bundles from the mini catalog. So it's a great deal if you're thinking about it, if you uh, wanna get discounts on your stamping supplies or maybe you're thinking about you know, Christmas is coming, maybe you're wanting to try to make some extra money, um, this would might be an option for you. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. My email contact information, uh, Dawn's Early Inkings at gmail.com. That's my email address. That link and the link to my blog and information will be um, below the video in the description. All right, enough of that. <laughs> so today we are going to use the Welcoming Woods stamp set, which is right here. Um, and actually, I love this set from the first time I saw it uh, in the catalog. Um, even when I saw the, this year we got our catalogs PDF version before we got to see them live just because of the COVID in the world. And I got it just recently. And I actually had, I don't have the original card I made because I gave that away, I had to mail it. Um, I have a, a colleague at work who is retiring and being a gentleman, I wanted to make a card that was on the masculine side, not too feminine. So I made a card, I, I used the stamp set that says um, celebrate. And then on the inside, I put, good luck on your new adventure. But I'm, the card was basically the same except for the greeting on this one. I put happy birthday. And this, this is from the Sunny Sentiment stamp set, this greeting on the inside. But this is the card we're going to make today. Um, the stamp set, I'm sorry. The We're also using the Banners Pick-A-Punch. Um, most of you might be familiar with this. This is a great uh, punch tool for greetings. Um, we're using the basic borders die. I've already cut out. You've seen me do this before if you've checked out Maybe my first or second video. I know I haven't done that many, but this is the This die right here and it makes the clouds and I'll show you how to sponge that you see I've already used this one So that's the those are the basic borders dies. Those are in the annual catalog They're not attached to any specific stamp set. They're kind of a standalone, but I would re highly recommend these to add to your collection. Okay, and so for the colors that we're using today, Granny Apple Green, Misty Moonlight, Cherry Cobbler, Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, and Early Espresso. Okay, so let's get started. All right. So we're going to start with our basic white piece of cardstock. Now the cardstock is going to be cut down to three and three quarters by five, but I'm starting with a, I believe this is 
four and a quarter by five and a half or four by five and a quarter. I like to leave edges on the uh, space on the side so I can cut it down in case there's an edge I don't like. And I'm sorry, my cat has decided to join us for this session. So if you hear meows, that might be Josh or Acadia, but probably Josh. Okay, oh, so we're gonna be using the Stampin' Sponge. Sorry about that. I thought I had everything ready, but I did not. So it's well and truly loved. My blue, I do not have one for every color. Um, I only have, um, I'm, I'm using them for color groups, so I'm not gonna have you know, 40 something of these. Okay, Josh, you're gonna have to stay over there, bud, okay? I love you, sweetie. <laughs> I love my helpers. Just some days they help a little more than others and it can be a challenge. Right, bud? All right, so now I'm gonna move this all the way like that, just so it looks a little different. And then now I'm going to flip that over and let's see, maybe put it there. I'm thinking what I might do with this cloud stencil template thing. I'm actually debating about cutting it out of some window sheet or acetate and having a permanent kind of stencil. Um, just because I, I, I like making these clouds. Um, so that is something you can look at doing. Um, do I want to do another one? Yeah, let's do another little one. Because the trees are shorter than you think, so. Okay, there we go. There's that that to the side. No, I'm not putting that over by you, my friend. You can't see him, but he's right over there in the corner. So, and if we were doing alcohol markers, he'd be right here. I don't know why he seems to like my alcohol markers. Don't you, Josh? My little helper. Okay. So now I'll flip this over and just sponge I'm gonna grab, this is just a post-it note, just so that my fingers don't make it a different color or pick up the ink. And I'm just gonna sponge this. And I'm not gonna go over here in the blue, I'm gonna try not to because I don't wanna mix the colors. Okay. And I'm not really worrying about her, a horizon line because the trees and the leaves will kind of just kind of get all in there and there we go. Okay, so we're done with the Misty Moonlight. Uh, no, we're done with the Granny Apple Green Ink. We'll come back with the Misty Moonlight when we stamp our greetings. Okay. And this is one of those post-it notes that has the sticky stuff all over it. So it's a little more sticky than some. Okay. So, so cherry cobbler, cinnamon cider, and bumblebee. Now I'm going to stamp from light to dark. Oh, and I forgot to cut a piece of cardstock for the inside of the card. But I will do that in just a little bit. Okay. Oh, nope. Scratch that. We're going to stamp the trees first. Josh, it must be you. 
You're getting me all confused. All your cuteness. Okay. And here's one of those bigger stamps. So this is when I like to tap on the stamp instead of tap into the ink pad. All right. And cat hair. Let's see. Let's do right about right about there. And I'm just going to press this down for a little bit because it is a little bit of a bigger stamp. I could have used my stamparatus, but I chose not to. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Are you, am I too low? Okay. I will stamp some leaves over that. Okay. Oh, I'm going to get that out of your way, Mr. Kitty. Okay. Now we're ready for leaves. So, and there are, there looks like there is a way to make them look like they're falling, but I'm going to end up flipping the stamp around. So I, in reality, it's probably not going to really matter. Um, and I really did try to do these random. Um, I know it doesn't look like I'm doing it random, but I am. All right, and since I'm going from light to dark, I'm not going to clean my stamp in between. I'll stamp off a couple times, but... And then, there we go. That kind of just makes me feel better. All right. Okay, so I think we're going to go with the same greetings we used before. So we're going to use the Happy Birthday from the stamp set. And then we're going to use the same Happy Birthday Sentiment from Sunny Sentiments. Um, and this one is in the annual catalog, not the mini catalog. So let me get a couple of blocks. I like that this is a kind of a quick and easy card. Um, let's see, let me try that again. There we go. And put that like that. All right. So we'll do the inside first. Let me stamp the greeting first. Let me just see how straight it is on the stamp. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, excellent. I'm happy with that. It's always good to be happy. All right, so we're back to the leaves. Bumblebee first. So I'm going to kind of do like a pile of leaves over here. I know in the other card, the card I showed you, it wasn't more, it wasn't, it wasn't as much like a pile as my original card was. So I didn't quite do it the way I had wanted to on the last card. So let's see. There we go. Good for me. Okay, so that is done. So now I have this three quarter inch strip 
of cardstock. And I put my Misty Moonlight away again. Let's see if I can do this straight. One, two, three. Ah, pretty good. All right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go about this far out and hopefully about the same amount on this side. And then I'm gonna take, and I wanna use this one. So I'm gonna take, all right, let's see here. Cut that and then flip it around stick it back in so these channels in case you are not aware it's a half inch channel a three quarter inch channel and an inch channel and i'm using the three quarter inch channel since this is a three quarter inch wide strip okay and then sometimes if the strip is too short you can stick a post-it note you could cut this like this and stick it in this way and then punch it and that way you'd still have something to hold on to. Just a tip. Okay, that looks pretty good I think. So then what I do is I take and I just kind of see, I eyeball this. I what I. Try not to sweat the small stuff. There we go. And then I'm just going to glue that down and pop that up with dimensionals. All right. Okay. So here's my Bumblebee cardstock that is three, three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And I am going to adhere this down to it. And do I want to use liquid glue? I'll use my seal. And whoops. And I cut it so there should be a thin. Oh, pretty good pat myself on the back. All right. Then I have a four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. I just decided to do a different, um, the, the top folding card instead of the side folding card. All right. Okay, this is the tricky part usually oh okay bonus okay and good Whew. for a second there i thought i <laughs> mounted it upside down but i did not okay all right so i am going to let's see oh and you know what oh hmm Tell you what, let me tell you. this is what I did on the original card. I did not do it on this card, on the card I showed you. I will show you real quick. So I took Misty Moonlight Blend and this can make a, a bit of a mess. So actually I'm kind of glad I didn't do it till right now, but it does take a minute to dry or it can get all over your card. So basically what I'm doing is I'm coloring the baker's twine, the white baker's twine with a Misty Moonlight ink. And I'm trying to color with the side edge of my blend. 
can see it kind of makes a mess. Um, maybe that's why when I remade the card I didn't do it. Um, no. So I like the fact that it matches, so. What's a little ink among friends, right? So is fall, is fall your favorite season? Fall is absolutely my favorite season. Um, I love fall. Um, could be because my birthday's in October, maybe. But I do love fall. It's, I love the, when the weather gets crisp and the colors, although growing up in New England, colors were definitely brighter than they are here uh, in North Carolina. But I still, I appreciate the time of year and the fact that it's, you know, it's colorful season for the most part. Okay. All I'm doing is seeing if it's dry. I just don't want to get my card stock. Okay. So basically what I did was I just kind of went and I don't know if I did a long enough piece. Hmm. We'll kind of go not really, no. Hmm. Sorry, I'm not trying to block your view. I'm trying to see if I can get it all. I found if you kind of roll it with your fingers, that's probably the easiest way to get, I won't say all sides, but all sides of it. <laughs> so I guess I will say all sides. Okay. That's better. I think that's a bigger piece. Okay. Yes, that's definitely a bigger piece. Okay. And it will fade a little bit. The color will fade a little bit, but that's okay. Okay. Yep. All right. So before I go further, let me stick this on here and I'm not going to push it down until there we go. All right. So let's see. All right. Let's see here. Do, do, do. I don't know why, but I seem to be drawn to the Baker's Twine. I, I, I just like it a lot. All right. So then what we're going to do is I'm going to take, I've got some of this left over. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to take this and then this little one over here. Let me move that a little bit over so it's not over the edge. Take those off. Now, hmm. put it up here. Oh, you know what? We forgot to put the bottom on the trees. Let me put that aside for a minute and let me go back. Wow. <laughs> the simple and easy card isn't turning out to be so simple and easy, is it? Actually, it, it really is simple and easy. Um, it's, it's the maker, not the... Let's see. Hmm. 
Okay, so I need my early espresso ink. And we're gonna hope real hard that this comes out okay. All I'm doing is wiping off the um, ink off the edge of my my block. Since we've already done everything, I don't want I really don't want to mess this up. Okay. Please work. Oh, yes. There's a little bit right there, but shh, nobody will know. It's fine. Okay. So we're going to bring this back over. And how about right there? Okay. Couple of little hiccups now and then, you know, that's that's what we do. We um, we fix creative solutions here. Okay. And make sure that's lined up. There we go. And there we are. So these are the, the two. Again, I didn't put the blue. Maybe I can go back in and put this piece behind that, that one. Um, but they're all different because depending on how you stamp the leaves. Um, and then those are the, the leaves on the inside. But I really, I really like this card. I, I hope the person that gets the one I sent in the mail really enjoys his card. Because um, this is fun. Um, these are the kind of cards I like. Kind of scene cards, but that are easy and not overly complicated to stamp. So... Um, if you like this video, um, please click on like, um, I'd appreciate it if you uh, got some value, um, if you want to subscribe that way, uh, when I come out with new videos, uh, you'll get notified. Um, well, actually I think you have to hit on the bell to get notified, but if you'll subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. I'm still trying to grow my base. I'm still very new at this. so I'm still learning. So I appreciate your time. Uh, thank you for stopping by and I hope you have a, a good day and a good week and I will talk to you at the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.